Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow. I did not know I was going live, y'all. I didn't. But my paper pumpkin came for, for June and I gotta show you this. I gotta show you this. It's so gorgeous. Okay, all right, here we go. Boop. Okay, so first of all, the cover of our annual catalog, which came out in May, features these beautiful papers and ephemera and other things, right? Okay, well, this is the artistically inked stamp set. It coordinates with our new paper pumpkin. I'm so excited. I mean, this is one that I just feel like, you know, they didn't have to go this great, but they went this great, okay? Um, these are just some snippets of my paper that I have left, and um, these will all coordinate with the paper pumpkin box that I'm about to open and show y'all. I mean, these should just be framed. Just frame them and hang them up, you know? Um, and if you're, if you're not subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, this is just an example to what you're missing. Now, of course... This was a separate order. This comes through the catalog. You can order through me, etc. Okay. But the paper pumpkin that they sent us for June of 2020 coordinates. I can't wait. Now, I got to tell y'all, I opened it the other night live, but I did not open it, open it because I was waiting to save it for y'all. Last night is when I did. Yeah. So the first thing it's telling us is it coordinates perfectly with Expressions in Ink Specialty Designer Series paper. And they call it specialty because it's got like these, these gold lines in it that shimmer and, and that's a shimmery. There's so much shimmer. So much shimmer. So let's see what's in it. With your first paper pumpkin, you will always get a block. Okay, it's going to be an acrylic block. It, this one says paper pumpkin on the side. I, I just think that that's exactly what they look like but um it your stamps will never be too big for this block the stamps that come in your kit if they're too big they'll give us another block right okay here's the stamps we get they are photopolymer um they're it just beautiful it's like a splat of color and then you're going to stamp this over it oh my word and then we got these little stamps to go along with it and the sentiments i love the fonts um, you were amazing. Sending hugs. Many thanks. Thanks for everything. And congratulations. How about that? Okay. All right. We usually get one stampin' spot. But with this kit, they gave us two. There's Evening Evergreen and Bumblebee. These are um, two of the favored colors anyway. So I'm really glad we got them. Now, every time you get a paper pumpkin, it's like a gift. It is. It's only $22 a month, y'all. If you're in the U.S., you can order through me. Okay, so here we go. It's a packet full of wonderful. And here are the cards we can make with it, okay? Um, this one uh, says, thanks for everything. This one says, congratulations. This one says, you are amazing. Let's look in it and see what all we got to make these pretty cards with. It's usually um, three of each design. And I mean, have you priced cards lately? $22 and you get to create it or give the whole box as a gift. How, what fun is that? Oh, look, we have iridescent little sequins. I can't believe I remembered both of those words, iridescent and sequins. Boo-boo. <laughs> Yay. And these are little glue dots, which I always save. Um because when I travel, I like to take those with me. I like to use my bigger glue dots like this or the mini glue dots like that. And we always get envelopes and they're good hardy envelopes. Oh, we're going to have some smaller note cards too. Okay, there we go. Um, yep, yeah, it's going to be threes. There are six of the larger envelopes and three of the small. So we've got nine total cards. Oh, y'all. Look how, can y'all see? Yeah, you can. That is beautiful, y'all. That's like white on white vellum. It's so pretty. And oh, look how pretty that is. Goodness gracious. 
Now this particular kit, you had to subscribe by June 10th, June 10th of 2021 in order to get this kit. Um, so this kit, it, they, they don't, they won't send it now, but you can, you can uh, get next month's kit, which we don't know yet what it is. And if you subscribe with Paper Pumpkin with me, you will also get to be part of my Paper Pumpkin Facebook group. So we're going to have three like this. And then we have these cutouts. These are laser cut. Um, I like to just kind of pull them apart a little bit and get them ready to come home. <laughs> There we are. See? Yep. Trying to coax it out like, like I have to coax my puppy to go places. We went for a walk this morning and we stay on our property, but we, I walked for 20 minutes and um, my little dogs were right beside me. But once in a while, Sir Winston poops a lot. He gets a different idea and I have to remind him. Mm -mm. I wonder if this can be cut down to go over that. It can. But this is one of the note cards here. And I don't know why I'm going ahead and folding them, y'all. I don't know why, but I am. So we're probably just going to do one of each while we're here together. And now I'm going to get this little guy out because I was thinking, I need one of each color, right? Yeah. And, and oh, look at this. Gosh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. They didn't have to go to all this trouble, y'all, to make it amazing. We already love this kit every month. I never know. I mean, we get a little hint now, and I'm allowed to share that little hint in my Facebook group. It's called Kathy Bow's Pumpkin Heads. And, because, you know, you think of a pumpkin and a carved pumpkin or whatever, but isn't that cute? Heavens. Okay, so we're going to put this piece all the way. But, y'all, if you're local to me in Noonan, Georgia, I am starting a paper pumpkin group where we will get together and make our cards. So that's why I'm just going to make one of each. Maybe. We'll see how long I last with my husband in there making man noises. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. He's a man. He makes man noises. That's, that's what we do. Okay. All right, so I see that the little white pieces would be best on the yellow. Um, we've got these vellum. Oh, these are so pretty, y'all. And it's in several languages because uh, they go to France and um, Denmark, Sweden. I'm not sure. It says danke and merci and thanks. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take out the English versions because I don't want anybody to think I'm being, you know, trying to be all European and everything. <laughs> all right, here we go. And they're, they're in there, but they, they come out clean and crisp and just gorgeous. We've got, um, one, two, three sheets of those. Okay. I'm going to put these two back with the kit. We're going to look at our directions and see what we're going to do. Now, on your um, instructions here, you'll have the name of your kit, the month it was uh, sent in. And these are the directions. Look how simple. So stinking simple. Big, colorful. We're going to use that because we're going to do this group as, um, as the book says, so to speak. But you can go to Pinterest and see a bunch of alternative projects. Um, okay, and it tells us what's in here. It's got supplies for nine cards and not nine envelopes. Um, it's got the two colors right here. And the, let's see. Well, it just says supplies, doesn't it? But we got everything. We've already looked at that. Look at that pretty paper. This is the ombre um, treat bags that we have in the, in the catalog. And you can order that separate. And this is from the uh, ephemera kit, that little gold right here. Yeah, that's from that. Okay, so let's look at what they want us to do. Okay, we're going to start with the purpley one. All right, purpley, purpley. 
My sister's favorite color was purple, and I always think of her. All right, that that's pretty straightforward, y'all. Pretty straightforward. Um, they want us to stamp, you are amazing. But I don't know, maybe I want a different stamp. Let's look at the stamps again. Maybe I want to say sending hugs um, or thanks. I like thank you cards. I do. I'm just going to say thanks. We can use that one. Um, and I want you all to know when you get photopolymer stamps, they have a little film on them. And you just, you kind of want to wipe that off on your, on your um, little cloth or whatever you use. So before you start using them, your little stamps, you want to clean the bottom of the stamp off. Some people just rub it on their skin. Um, others like to actually clean it like this and just get that film from uh, manufacturing off, okay? And grab a block here. And my block is the same size as the one you'll get in Paper Pumpkin. I just prefer to use these because my paper pumpkin blocks are for customers. Okay. I mean, I don't send you the block, but sometimes I make up a kit and send to my um, customers. Oh, hey, Tammy. Thank you, darling. These are Color Street um, puppy dog paws, and and there's there's a there's a cat over here. But the the um, actual nail polish. I'm not kidding you, is Dollar Tree. It was one dollar. One dollar. And this is week number two, maybe three. I can't even believe it. So, okay, I'm using the word thanks, and I'm deciding which one I want to use. Um, Tammy, did you get your paper pumpkin yet? I hope so. Now, it really wants us to use, you are amazing in that one, but you know what? I'm going rogue. Rogue, y'all going to do it in this color, the bumblebee. And now these are not super easy to open, but all you got to do, it's great if you, if you have somebody in your house that works, you know, in the ER, because chances are you're going to rip your finger open. Not really. You just want to cut just a little bit and then boop. Okay. Try not to rip your finger open. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to ink it this way because this is a cute little little inker. Cute little inker. Oh, you got both the kits. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Tammy, I need to text you. I need to send you a note. I'll be in town on uh, Friday and uh, I don't know about what we're doing Saturday. Um, but anyway, I'll, I need to text you a note. Okay. So this says thanks. And honestly, if I had done this on my um, on my Stamparatus, I could have stamped it a second time. But it's okay. It's all right. Nobody died. Nobody. Not over this anyway. Okay, so we're going to take this. And I think we're going to go um, landscape instead of portrait. Just because that's what the picture shows. It was such an amazing, it is such an amazing kit. I feel really bad for people that are going to see this and want it because I don't like to have things that other people don't have. It's just a weird thing about me. And, and I mean, there's, they're gone, you know, they had to subscribe early. Um, they've got a piece of this twine going around. I'm probably going to skip the twine, but, um, and I really want to stamp this again. So let me, let me just, let me just regroup just a minute. Because this is a brand new stamp, and it might have been a little testy. So maybe I want to stamp it just a little bit, make sure I got it good and clean. And we should be using um, a little pad up under it because it's a photopolymer stamp. We need to have something to cushion it because our red rubber stamps have that little cushion. But these don't. Okay, so just for fun. Hey, Teresa. And you got your kit too, right? I'm sure you did by now. Teresa, I'm trying to plan a little get-together. Um, I'm going to try the other ink. Please hold. Um, Teresa, I'm, I'm trying to plan a uh, paper pumpkin get-together, but it's it's got to be in July because nobody can come this early so far. 
So if you want to save some of yours to make at the at the get together, then let's do that. Oh come on. I don't know, y'all. I just want it. I don't know what I want. I, yeah, I like this. The, the bigger ink to me just looks a little clearer. But I think they're really, they're almost the same. So we're just not going to worry with that. Okay. Not going to give it any more thought. Okay, here we go. Going to clean this off. Oh, hey, Michelle. So good to see you. Um, Michelle, did you get um, Paper Pumpkin this month? I didn't know I was going live, y'all. It just happened. I was just sitting there, and then, poof, I realized, I need to go live. And and it happened. It just, you know, it just happened. Okay. All right, this vellum printed floral piece here. It's got a right side and a wrong side, but it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm just going to call that the right side, Okay. And when you put vellum on, you're going to be able to see your adhesive on the, um, you're going to be able to see through it with your adhesive, okay? So my idea is this. We're going to use glue dots, which, you know, this this came with glue dots, which I meant to put in my, in my drawer, but they hit the floor, as did my sweater just now. Y'all, I'm falling apart. Okay, here we go. Um... Michelle, I did, and it looks beautiful. I can't wait to play. Yes, it is so pretty. So um, these little glue dots, one of them took a hit for the team. I have no idea where he went. But that's what we get in there. So I'm just going to use these so I can take mine on my trip. And Tammy, remind me, if I don't text you, you need to text me, girlfriend. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to actually put it in that thing that looks like a wet circle. Because it already has like a little water circle there. And, you know, you're going to be able to see the glue dot. But if you if you just kind of put it in these little circles. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like this. You see the circle where I'm laying it? Right there. It, it really just looks like it, it's fine. It's fine, fine. It'd be all right. Okay, that's all we're going to do with that. And let's see our picture. Again, it's nothing. I mean, all they did, all they did, oops, um, they put some bling on here around, and and they put that green tie. I'm, I'm not fond of that, so I think I'm not going to use that green thing. Um, I am going to use some uh, Stampin' Dimensionals which we did get some in the package right here. Those are the um, behind the little sequins. Please hold. But again, I like to carry them when I'm traveling. So there they are. Those are the little Stampin' Dimensionals. See, they're just like these. And um, I do have the smaller ones. Oh, which side did I want? This side. I do have the smaller ones, but, you know, we don't, we don't need to use the smaller ones. We'll wait to use smaller ones on small things. Okay, we're just going to, you know, I could put it right there. Heavens to Murgatroyd. I do like that, y'all, right in the dead middle. I like that. And then I can put more adhesive up under here. Yay! Scary dental tool. Bum, bum, bum. Right here. And, y'all, okay, yesterday I had to get a new phone. And... We went. We first went to get it repaired, and dude said, "You know, it's it's not going to fix your real problems. It's just going to make your battery feel better." And I thought, "Uh, -uh no." All right, there we go. Now let me tell you because I've got all of the um, papers from this suite. I could put a strip of something, like if this had some of the green, some of these green things right here. If it had some of that on it, that would have been cool, but it didn't. So let me let me just see and show y'all something cool. Mm, maybe this. Maybe this page. Yeah. Because it's got the purple in it. Okay. So um, I'm just going to cut a strip. And we're probably going to use it on more than just this one. We're just going we're just going to cut an inch off. How about that? 
How about it? How about it? Here we go. This trimmer, y'all. It I love it. It's it's the go-to. It's the goat. All right, so what I'm thinking is just putting a strip along here. But you know what else would be pretty? Oh, y'all. Hmm. I do love one that's that's outlined with black, but I think I'm going to wait and outline the next one. How about that? Okay, so we're just going to snip off. Let me put it just about like that and snip it off on the back side. So it's going to come in. This, this is scientific measuring, y'all. So it it's going to it's going to be centered like that. How about it? Okay, okay. So we know that this is one inch. So when I go to put this on a black strip, we'll know it's one inch. And I need, you know, one and a probably one and a half. I mean, yeah. No, one and a quarter wide. So that the black strip will show one eighth around. Because that's a pretty nice. There we go. How about that? Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And I was able to add this extra color because, you know, I got the I got the stuff, man. I got the stuff. All right, we'll put that there. Okay, now on to this. Well, what am I supposed to do with all these things I poked out? Oh, there we go. I think I want to do the yellow one next because I got all these little guys I poked out. And I see now they're supposed to be friends. See? They all go together. They, they live happily ever after. All right, so this is the yellow. And I know, y'all get over there. Over there. Over, oh, over there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, hi, Jamie. I'll be glad when the DSB is back in stock. I know people have gone so crazy over it. And um, we are going to have a um, DSP sale coming up, but I'll give more information on that later. Later, later. All right, so we have, um, we're going to put this down. And again, now I'm looking at the design, and I just it's telling us to just put uh, glue right here. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put our little um, sequins on. Please hold. We got to do that real quick. I totally forgot the sequins. Come on now. Yeah, Stampin' Up! has sold out of this DSP, which means designer series paper. And they are trying to get it back in. They should have known this was just going to go crazy. And they may have, but they, they're doing the best they can with delivery, what it is, you know. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's a good size. Um... I'm just going to put glue in the middle here because we know that that's where our our feature is going to go. And I'll show you how you can you can see how it's well you may not, but right here I can see strip, strip and strip and a strip. So that's why you don't really want to put it where people can see. Okay? So now we are going to put these guys on and Come on now, stop it. All right, it's going to go like this. Okay, and then who goes on next? I think this, actually, I think that green one goes on last. But, you know, who who's, who's going to police it? Who is going to police it? Hmm. That's pretty, y'all. Jamie, I have this kit. Got to get busy putting it together tomorrow. Yes, yes. And um, by now, there are already alternative projects posted. So, girl, go in there and look at your alternatives. Because they are... They're, they're going to be awesome. I hadn't even looked. I haven't even looked. But I know. Because I, I didn't want to look because I didn't want to get rogue on the unboxing. I just wanted to, you know, I, I want to try and behave and do it like it says because, I mean, even even just doing it exactly like it comes in the box, it is so beautiful. I mean, there's really, you don't really have to do anything different. But us card makers, you know, we like to do things different sometimes. 
Um, let's see. I need just to, I'm gonna have to roll this little glue dot just a wee. Just a wee bit. And then boop. Okay, okay. Here we go. And okay. Oh y'all. Goodness. Now my dog's gonna start crying. Y'all know he has to cry every time. His name is Winston. We call him Sir Winston Poops a lot. And my husband has to comfort him at all times. He's very dramatic. Not my husband. The dog. <laughs> the dog. Okay, let's see. I kind of... Of course, we don't want it going off the side of the card, right? So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going, because we're going to be covering it all up, we can use this. All right. Glue dot and the scary dental tool. Pum, pum, pum. Put the glue dot like this. Uh oh. Let go. Rude. Okay. And um, now, y'all, I don't know if y'all know, I do a Dollar Tree crafting show. And, you know, most of the stuff I use is Dollar Tree, but a lot of crafters, we do a lot of different things. And I do my um, Dollar Tree crafting show on Thursdays at 1 o'clock, so I'll be doing that. Um, but at, at any given time, I'll do something other than Dollar Tree. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just whatever I'm working on, you know. Um, typically, I like to make things that I can use or share with others. We have to go help with my brother-in-law. He's not well, and um, they need help giving him dinner. So we're going to go help with that. Okay, there we go. Um, you know what? We can also do this. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. We can do that, and we can put that there, and then we can put this one like... Eh, we'll put it like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I broke it up a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we have another thanks. We're going to put here. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this card. I'm loving it. And they want us to put congratulations, but y'all, we are, my husband and I, we are way past the age of, um, friends having babies or getting married. I mean, at this age, if, if they, if they haven't gotten married yet, they, probably miss their chance. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make a little, just a little thing like this. Put it like that. I like to have my ends hidden a little bit. What? It kind of goes, let's see, wait a minute. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, there we go. It kind of goes like this, y'all. And I'm going to use my um, Stampin' Dimensionals and put them on it, directly on it, so it will lay there and behave. Okay. I'm going to put one. Let's see how big our sign is, our sentiment. I, I guess that's okay. I, I think so. Kind of like put it right here. Oh, dear. No, no. Come up. Come up. There we go. And then one, let's see. Yeah, and then one over here. Okay, yeah. So I was telling y'all I had to buy a new phone yesterday. And I'm I'm really a grumpy phone buyer because nowadays it's it's a necessity to have a good working phone. It's no longer the luxury and the cool thing to do, you know, like it was back in the days when we first got them. Um you need them now. And and I, I'm not happy about that. Look how stinking gorgeous this is, y'all. I love it. I love it. Let's give him some bling. Because everybody deserves a little bling bling. We'll put one on the thanks. I always like to have one on the sentiment. And the idea is three. You know, you do you do kind of like almost like a triangle. So we got a little bling. A little bling here, a little bling there, a little bling there. Bling bling everywhere. Okay, one more. One more, and it's going to be this green one that for some reason I was putting off. I don't know why. Okay, I'm not really stamping much, y'all. Oh, oh, it wants us to. Look at this. 
see how the um, the green paper is, and then they want you to stamp. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay. All right. We can do that. We can do it. And then I'm going to have the big thanks showing um, that's made out of vellum. I should have had my little cleaning my um, little cleaning thing out, but I, I don't have it out. Okay. Stamps. Stamps. I know they're here. I know they are. I'll be able to find them in just a minute. Or not. <laughs> Oh, they're right there. Where y'all going? They're right there. They're right there. I know. I know. Okay. Now, you know what I told you about cleaning your stamps? You should clean your stamps. Okay. And we're just going to find the little, find the little wet spot. Make a new wet spot on my little very dirty cleaning rag. But it's just ink, y'all. It's just ink. It's not like I bathe the dog with it. Okay, although we did bathe the dogs. But yeah, so I got this new phone, and I'm having to... Yeah, it's, it's a little learning curve. And I may not be... I may not be super polite and calm on the learning curve. Sometimes I'm downright grumpy on the learning curve. Because you, you just grab your phone and you just do what you do, right? And... And I'm having to grab my phone and learn what to do. Same, same, it's an iPhone, just like my old one was. But it's just got some newfangled things on it. So I'm just learning. Come on now. And I, I do spend a lot of time with my iPhone because I used to have to wear hose and heels all through the 70s and 80s to go to work. And the 90s and the 2000s, and well, I didn't, I dropped them by the 2000s, but I used to have to wear hose and heels and have some ugly man tell me when to go to lunch and when to get back and question me on on everything. And, and now I'm retired and I'm like, bump that, I will play on my phone. And you know, I think back on that sometimes when you know I'm logging too many hours on my on my phone games or my crafting and then I'm like whatever dude right I paid my dues okay this is pretty what do y'all think isn't that pretty I do like it didn't know we were going to talk about all that today now did you you never know you never know um but yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to have a whole lot of grief over my phone. The guy at the, when we first were trying to get it repaired, he said, wow. <laughs> I said, what? You know, I'm thinking, it's a great phone, but that's not at all what he said. It's not. He said, <laughs> I've been doing this for three years and I've never seen a phone that's been charged this many times. And I said, well, how many, you know, the norm. And it was like half of how much I had charged mine. And I'm like, well, I'm an overachiever and I'm retired and I don't have anybody telling me what to do. He says, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so I just got a kick out of that. Okay, so we're just going to center this and I just eyeball it, y'all. I, I don't always get it perfect, but but what I do, I look at this corner, this corner, and this corner while I'm holding it over here. Okay. And it and it gets it gets pretty close. Pretty close. All right, so we've done that. We want the big word thanks. Boop. And what else? What else? I don't see anything else except the bling. So um, you know, it, it's it might show, but we got it, we gotta do it. It says do it. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. We'll put it, we're, we're going to put it where the, where the fat part of the white is, like, oops, sorry, right here, the little fat part of the white, and the fat part of the K, and just, just that much, just that much, and it says thanks, and we, we could, we could go ahead and stamp for everything. If I'm fast enough, I can beat the clock that's going to go do-do-do-do-do at us, right? Let's see. Um, for everything. Thanks for everything. I'm not even going to take time to um, 
to clean this one, we'll just stamp off. Now, the best way to do a straight stamp, photopolymer stamp like this, let me go, is to lay it on your grid paper, which you can buy through me. They sell it to everybody. And then you pick up your um, you pick up your stamp that way. Okay, so it's it's straight. You don't want it to curve around and, and be all be all janky, right? Right. Okay, so we're just you know I think I want to use green. I don't I don't want to throw in some color. I'm gonna put green. Yeah. And then we'll put our bling on. Boop, 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 boop. Now I didn't clean it, so I'm just gonna do this like that. Okay, so now definitely that um that stuff is off, whatever they put on them before they ship them. Thanks for everything. There we go. Boop. All right. And if you're here and you hadn't said, hey, hey, just give me a shout. Oh, y'all, I love that. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, we're going to pop it up. Come on now, where to put y'all? Here y'all are. Here Demi is. Here Demi is. We're going to get three. We're going to put one in the middle and one on either side. Stampin' Dimensionals. And um, we do sell these in packs of whatever. I'm not going to try and tell you how many's in a pack, but it's a lot. I mean, really, you know. Thanks for everything. No, I'm going to put it down like this. Thanks for everything. And then, y'all, we're going to have a boop. Boop. And a boop. Boop. And another boop. Boop. And there we go. Boop, boop, and boop. Hi, Christy. Thank you for hanging out. We are just finishing up our paper pumpkin cards for the month of June. This is exact, almost exactly as the instructions told us to do. I got a little rogue, but not two. Not too rogue. And, um, hey, if y'all are interested in Paper Pumpkins, send me a message here, and I'd be more than happy to help you. And you can subscribe for the month. You can cancel at any time. You can pause it at any time. You're in complete charge of your account. It's $22 a month, and it ships right to you, and it's a surprise every month. And if you're on Facebook, um, let me know if you want to be in my Kathy Bowes Pumpkinhead group. We get a little hint each month of what we're going to get in our kit. And, of course, this um, coordinates with the Expressions in Color Designer Series paper. There's a bunch of sheets here that, um, that I've stacked things on. And Anyway, you can see what, what else you can use on your cards. Okay, so thanks for hanging out. It was an impromptu live. Um, I appreciate y'all. And... Um, have a wonderful weekend, rest of the week rather. And if you're around, come uh, come back on at one o'clock tomorrow for Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. I'm over at my other desk and I will be making something fun. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. God bless. And too.